H O pill. Oh god damn, I can't even make it through the first two words. <coughs> It's Joe Pell Fernbark. I'm up here at a Morning Wood with Anonymous Dave, and we're going to make Bigos in cast iron. Got the old flame started up, and uh, pretty soon we'll be cooking. So, Bigos is a hunter stew and is generally supposed to be comprised of stuff that you harvested yourself, which I did. I totally got this wild boar, which I ground and then put into this box so that my girlfriend would find it acceptable to eat. Same thing with this uh, bison. Uh, I was gonna get elk, but elk was hard to find, so I got some bison instead, and of course, bacon. Step one is putting in some sauerkraut. I'm just gonna put this whole jar in here. It's gonna be a big batch of food for two guys. Then, after the sauerkraut, I'm gonna put in just some regular cabbage. You're thinking, wow, that's a lot of cabbage. Well, it's okay, it's just two guys in the woods. We can fart if we want to. While my cabbage is starting to sweat down, I'm gonna get some bacon rolling. I'm just going to do it on the old, uh, whatever this thing is, some kind of stove. Well, I got my bacon cooked up, and now I'm going to go ahead and cook up my boar in my bacon fat. I didn't throw any of it out, not that there's much. I think I'm going to have to put the light on my camera because I don't think it's going to pick up how dark and lean and beautiful this bison is. Look at that. That looks good raw. Round up some bison. Yeah, it's warming up now. All right, now for the aromatics. I got all my meat sauteed and put it in the pot. I got a whole onion. Well, this is like half of one. I got to do it in two stages because my pan is so tiny. And I cheaped out. I didn't make my own garlic. I just got some chopped garlic. We're just going to go ahead and uh, get those babies rolling and we're going to throw her in the pot. Gosh, I wish you could smell this. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. I my first batch of onions. I ran out of bacon grease. So we're going to go, we're going to have to move up to cow grease. But who doesn't love some onions and butter? That smells good already. Holy smokes, look at that. Sparky, sparky. All right, here we are after several hours of cooking. The bacon boar bison bigos. Gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It is crazy good smelling. Now some recipes would call for you to add uh, some chicken broth to it. And I, I followed the recipe off of Food Wishes and he doesn't do it, he says this tastes better without it. By the way, look how this is not sticking to my cast iron at all. What a great recipe. Look at all that meat. Oh. So funny story. I'm editing this video and I realize there's no taste test that I filmed. And I'm pretty sure I know what happened. I think Dave tricked me into drinking a beer and then I forgot to film the taste test. No worries. I have some left over. We're going to taste it right now. Here's a close up of the finished product. Still got plenty of bacon in there. That's really what you smell is bacon and the sauerkraut. Uh, here's a little bit of boar meat. Here's some bison. So we still got all the goodies in here. The smell is incredible, provided you enjoy the smell of sauerkraut and onions. Well, let's go ahead and take a bite for posterity's sake. I got myself a big chunk of boar here. Mmm. That's really good. Well, this is my third meal of this item. I will have to say, I could have saved a lot of money I just got pork shoulder and some beef stew meat because I really don't taste any real difference having to use bison or boar in here. I could have saved a lot of cash. So if you're making this for yourself, feel free 
uh, to, to use much cheaper products and you won't be skimping out on any flavor at all. At least that's this guy's opinion. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. We'll catch you next time.